there are a lot of colors that mean different things. So you can have like, for instance, black and red mixed together would mean warfare. Uh, scarlet, crimson, uh, representing the blood of Jesus, gold representing the glory of God. Red, we think of the blood, so it's a covenant, because it was a covenant bought in blood. Um, we think of sacrifice. Um, purple, we think of royalty. Blue, we think about, um, about truth and valor and nobility. The authority of God. Silver means a redemption of God. So a lot of times you'll see flags just waving in the air. Last night we saw the color orange. Orange means power. So we're declaring power in the atmosphere. If we're waving a, a like a burnt orange flag or a gold flag, that means the glory of God. We want the glory of God to come in. Green, a lighter green, actually means life. So we want life to be declared. Even the colors that we are wearing or the visual images on our garments are another way that God can speak and prophesy to people. I'm, I'm looking for God under the rug. I'm looking for him under the chair. I'm looking for him, you know, at the bend of the wall. I'm, look, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting God everywhere. I'm expecting God to just show up and show out like he usually do. There's nobody that walks away without some type of a deposit. I have never in my life seen so many youth worshiping, praising God, and crying, just crying out, I mean, on their knees, crying out to the Lord. They were just never the same. They thought they were coming for a concert but they came for just a God experience that they've never had before. And I mean, it was just incredible. He elevated me, you know, he put me in a place where it was just he and I, you know, with no looking in front of me to see what it was I might have been missing. It was all about him and it really was. The presence of God has been here every single night. I believe that the Shekinah glory has just been hovering in the atmosphere. I mean, it has been amazing. The dancers coming in and, and being able to go away with a freedom that they didn't have before. A freedom to, you know, be who they are, to be what God has called them to be in the ministry of dance. To, to walk away knowing that God may have said and you may have thought that it was a good idea, but it was a God idea all along. And when I saw the power of God move, one of the girls who's 10 years old, I mean, she was just running around the church. She was absolutely on fire. And when I saw that, I saw another dimension of God's glory that she couldn't get anywhere else. She came and she was set up to come to equip in the saints for such a time as this. And when I saw that, I was just, I was outdone. People have been delivered, have been set free. They have been slain in the spirit. The anointing has just been so great. It has been a powerful experience for the adults as well as the youth. You talk about a, a, a prophetic ministry, um, a illustrated sermon. You talk about manifesting through dance, what God has said in scripture, what God is saying you know, to the body of Christ right now was totally expressed to perfection. We were in worship for about two hours, I guess. I don't know, I wasn't keeping track of time, but we were just like totally not even aware of the time, not even concerned about a program. You know, it was just letting the spirit move. The agenda was set aside. Man's agenda was set aside so that whatever God was gonna to wanna to do, how he wanted to show up and manifest, that's what happened. And that was empowering. It's just God, he shows up in everything we do. We appreciate God so much. We love Him so much. We don't take Him from granted at all. After I figured out who I was serving and what I was doing and realizing that He's over all things and He can equip me with all things, yes, sometimes I do fear, but yes, sometimes I do get nervous, but you know, God always brings me back to the focal point that He's always there. Don't miss next year. Next year is going to go even higher than this year, if that's possible, and I believe it is possible. <laughs> It's not just about dancing, different stuff comes from it. I know when I was dancing, when I first started, God started speaking through me, to me through dance. And I started experiencing new levels of Him. And as my dancing progressed, I start progressing in ministry with Him, and now He's blessed me with a ministry. Does everybody dance? No, everybody doesn't express themselves that way. God uses different things for different people. He created us all uniquely. So. Um, a lot of us do dance, and that's what we love doing. So it's our expression. That's how God speaks to us and how we speak to others. It's worth the money. It's worth the travel. It's worth the arrangements. It's worth any type of thing that you need to push aside just for this because there's so much that you receive 
for what it is that you're actually sowing. And I will basically encourage more men to come out and get involved into this. It's not so much as a woman thing, it's a men thing. We got some young brothers that danced last night that were awesome. You know, the Bible says, make his praise glorious. So that's what we want to do. We just want a vast array of glory. I know the first time I ever did any type of praise dance, he really took over. And I was just crying and just the boohooing and everything. But it felt so different. And the feeling of God is just so precious. And and I just, I, I never wanted to leave him. There's something for everybody. It's not just for the young people. It's not just for older people. This is something for absolutely everybody. It's just a smorgasbord of God's favor and glory. It really is, and it's worth it.